Yes, that was a Bugatti Veyron and you're watching a video about the new Skoda Octavia. That is because, believe it or not, the outgoing Skoda Octavia was actually partly designed by the same person who had the vision to create the Veyron hypercar. But Joseph Caban has since moved on from Skoda to Rolls-Royce and his replacement, Oliver Stefani, has given us this, the new fourth generation Skoda Octavia. In this video, we're gonna tell you all about it and if you want to get a brilliant deal on the outgoing Octavia, then go to whatcar.com and make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. So Skoda's global bestseller has been redesigned for its fourth generation, bringing in a range of new technology and the model's first plug-in hybrid option. You can expect more interior space, better functionality and higher levels of safety and comfort. You can get it as a hatchback or estate from the second half of 2020. The design has been brought into line with Skoda's latest non-SUV range, like the Scala and recently updated Superb. The front end takes clear inspiration from the Scala, with Caban's controversial split headlight design ditched in favour of redesigned units with standard fit LED tech, and full matrix LEDs are optional. LED tail and brake lights also feature, while a lower roofline is said to give a more coupe-like stance for the hatchback. There's new paint options and you can even go for a chrome detail pack. As for dimensions, it's 19 millimeters longer than the old hatchback, while the Estate is 22 millimeters longer than the old one. And both are 15 millimeters wider than before. The Octavia already had a reputation of being an outstandingly practical car compared to rivals like the Volkswagen Golf and Ford Focus. And now this model gets even more boot space. Well, only 30 litres in the estate and 10 litres in the saloon, which isn't much, but still, it was massive before. And interior space for passengers should be slightly bigger too. And if those exterior design changes may not seem particularly seismic, the interior is more noticeably different. There's soft touch materials with some multicoloured ambient lighting. The optional ergo seats get a massaging function and seat ventilation on top models for the first time. The dash now gets a freestanding touchscreen display measuring 8.25 inches or 10 inches depending on spec. Skoda has also introduced gesture control and an advanced voice controlled digital assistant called Laura, apparently, which is nice. A redesigned 10.25 inch virtual cockpit is available on certain trims as well as a new head up display. Like the Scala, there's only USB-C connections, which reminds me that I really do need to get a new phone. And you can have up to five of those USB-C connections dotted around the interior. And wireless charging is also offered. I definitely really need to get a new phone. For the first time in an Octavia, you get three zone climate control to help rear passengers control the temperature. Unsurprisingly, under the skin, this car shares its underpinnings with the recently revealed eighth generation Volkswagen Golf. And for more on that car, click on the link to see our video of it. The Octavia's engine range now includes mild hybrids and plug-in hybrids. The basic range kicks off with a one liter three-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine and a 1.5 liter four-cylinder turbo petrol. Both can be had in mild hybrid form with near identical performance, but claimed efficiency gains. A flagship 187 brake horsepower petrol engine will top the range with a seven-speed automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive. There's one diesel engine available in three different states of tune, but there aren't any mild hybrid diesels planned. The plug-in hybrid option gets a 1.4 litre petrol engine and an electric motor along with a six-speed automatic gearbox. It has a decent 34 mile all-electric range and will cover 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.9 seconds. But how good will the new Octavia be? There's plenty of good cars in this class, like the Ford Focus and the new Golf, as well as more premium choices like the BMW 1 Series and Mercedes A-Class. We're going to be driving the new Octavia soon and doing a video review. So to make sure that you catch it, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, if you want a great deal on the outgoing Octavia, which is a very good car, go to whatcar.com.